Well, alrighty, guys. We just uh, just left Dover yesterday. It was a pretty decent race throughout. I enjoyed the race. Um, you know, nobody won the pick uh, the pick five contest. Although I did have a couple of guys get three out of five. If they would have gotten one more, they would have won a die cast. So, putting this video out <clears throat> that way, I can try to get some uh, get some picks in here. We got a. A quick turnaround with uh, the guys uh, going to Kansas for a night race this Saturday night. So getting this video out, pick five contest, your chance to win uh, as many as three die casts. Um, and this is how it works. It's very simple. You pick five drivers. Pick five drivers. If you get four, your top four in any order, you will win one die cast. If you get all five correct in correct order, you will win two die casts. And if you get all five in correct order and your winning driver also wins stage two, so win stage two and that top driver, your top pick goes on to win the race, you will win that uh, John Force 20 year old 1999 die cast 164 scale funny car if you want to see that car and the cars that i have available go back to my last uh dover uh picks uh, video and you can uh you can check out those cars i'm adding a couple more cars to this week let me show you those real quick uh from 2018 <clears throat> we got William Byron, number 24. And let's see. We are United. Liberty. So, it's a pretty cool car. Pretty cool paint scheme. Got the flames. And that's what's so cool about NASCAR and about these different drivers running all these different schemes really makes uh, collecting the uh, die casts fun because you know they, they've got all different sorts of uh, paint schemes and, and from year to year those paint schemes change and makes it really neat it's a pretty cool car right here by William Byron it says Liberty there on the side William Byron coming up getting better and better he's gonna be a player just like uh, Bowman Great race uh, at Dover, <clears throat> getting better and better. Finished second a number of times. It's only a matter of time before he gets him a win. Same thing with uh, Suarez. It's only a matter of time he's going to get a win. So a lot of guys complain when their driver does not win the race, and that that it's just it's ridiculous to me. The competition is. Is, uh, is great, and the competition is growing. If your driver doesn't win, guess what? There's another race coming up the next weekend. So you just got to, you know, it's like pulling for your favorite football team or baseball team. You just got to keep pulling for them, you know. Uh, don't be a bandwagon fan. You know, there are a lot of those out there. Don't just go with the Kyle Bushes or, or the guys that win all the time. You know, and look at Kyle Busch. He was winning early on this season. All of a sudden, he's hit a bump in the road, not doing so good. And what's Kyle doing? He's complaining. I don't like the, I don't like the package now. All of a sudden, uh, the cars are too fast at Dover, and it's just, you know, I respect Kyle Busch. There's no doubt the guy's one of the best drivers out there. There's no doubt about that. You know, not one of my favorites, but he, he is a good driver. No doubt about it. So, you know, just uh, stick with your guy, stick with your driver, no matter who he is. And, you know, sooner or later, good things are going to happen. And it just, that's the way that it is. If you don't win, you don't win. If, you're, if your guy doesn't win, hopefully he can get some good points. But uh, all the bickering, the arguing, and the complaining really needs to stop. Guys, it's, it's, getting, it's, it's getting ridiculous. You know, a lot of that going on out there. And, when, you know, a buddy of ours, their driver wins and our guy doesn't do so hot, then, hey, we should say, hey, man, congratulations.
Your driver got the victory. Martin Truex Jr., uh, Dover, awesome win. He had an awesome car. Once he, you know, he had to come from the back. And that's another thing, people talking about, oh, well, he cheated. No, he didn't cheat. He got, he got busted, you know, uh, failed pre-race inspection, had to go to the back. It's not cheating, guys, all the time. There, there are teams, I'm sure, that deliberately try some things. But, uh, you know, you try to push that boundary as much as you can to get as much speed out of the car as possible. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to give your driver everything that you can give him, you know, and shave that car down, make it as fine as possible to where that driver can go out and go as fast as possible. It's just, it's what you do. And sometimes you get, you know, you push it over that line a little bit and you fail inspection. It's not that they're cheating, it's just that they're trying, you know, and they're, they're trying to make the car as aerodynamically sound as possible while still being in those NASCAR guidelines. So, uh, so yeah. But anyway, here's another uh, of the diecasts for this week. Uh, all the other ones from the Dover from last uh, last week's pick five are still in there. These are just two more that I've added. Okay, so the William Byron, and then I've got. This Jimmy Johnson here. Jimmy Johnson Foundation. Pretty cool paint scheme. Got the Lowe's on the hood. 2018 car, number 48. Pretty cool blue and white paint scheme. So these are two more that I'm adding to the mix. So again, you pick five drivers. Okay, you get four in any order, your top four, you will win a die cast. You get all five correct, you will win two. Get all five correct with that winning driver also winning stage two, then you will win two die casts and the bonus John Force Funny Car that I showed in my last pick five contest. So guys, Give, uh, go ahead and put your picks down, your five drivers, and we'll see what happens. See if somebody can win some die casts. Kansas, 400 miles, Saturday night, hoping for a good race. If you guys aren't subscribed to be a part of this, you need to be subscribed. Click on the bell to the right to be notified of all my future videos, as well as when I do a live stream, doing one tomorrow, as a matter of fact, Wednesday, 10.30 a.m., and uh, we're going to talk NASCAR and some other subjects. But uh, to be a part of this, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell. And uh, give me your five picks. And we'll see if, uh, if you're the lucky one to come away with some die casts. So, and if you want to see the rest of the cars, go back to, like I say, that Dover pick five from last week. And you guys can check those out. So let's have a good race at Kansas coming up, Saturday night racing. We'll see what happens. You guys have a blessed day.